Security agencies have come under fire for gross abuse of the rights of Nigerians during the recent lockdown by the federal government. Though some received commendations for exercising restraint in the way in the face of provocation by Nigerians, others were accused of disregarding human rights rules by taking the laws into their hands. Our correspondent Idang Joseph reports. The National Human Rights Commission over 200 cases of human rights violations by security operatives have been recorded, with about 29 fatalities. This has been since the commencement of the federal government's directive on a nationwide lockdown. These abuses include physical assaults, illegal seizures, extortion and even outright destruction of property, which has caused tremendous hardship on Nigerians. The violations by law enforcement agencies um, it, it, it occurs from time to time, but it's heightened during this uh, lockdown. One, it borders on um, excessive use of force, um, non-adherence to national and human rights uh, laws, um, non-adherence to rules of engagement, and um, unprofessional approach to um, service. Why Plus TV Africa investigated the conduct of security operatives? Surprisingly, some Nigerians commended their efforts but say their professionalism has been limited to only the city center. Our observation is that most uh, people are not uh, giving them cooperation because we can see a lot of uh, violation. But here in Abuja, main town that is a bit uh, good conduct compared to outskirts. People will come to the city where the crowd is too much. They will come and scare everybody out. Everybody will go. They won't touch up people, they won't call people, they won't beat people. So they will just make the announcement. People are intercepted in Enugu, people are intercepted in Aba. People are also intercepted heading to Katako, all the way from Enugu. So how did they go? They passed through these security checks by giving them money. Otherwise, um, intercede the security of the city. They are doing very well. They are trying to check people people and letting people go. And some of them, kind enough to talk to you, why are you on the road? Why should you not obey the lockdown? And, um, sometimes they stay hold some people and send them back. Sometimes they let some people go. You can't be violating a law in order to enforce a law. So the only way we can go about it is security personnel should be, should, 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 should be enlightened to know the provision of the law and to know the process of enforcement of the law. To know that at every instance you use the butt of a gun to eat a citizen, you have violated his human right. To all the human rights of every citizen in high esteem, the National Human Rights Commission, while warning that the protection of citizens by security personnel is key, the void of a violation of their right. However, think adherence to human rights is everybody's responsibility. It is the duty of every Nigerian to protect his right first, that of his neighbor. And if there is an infringement, there is a place the National Human Rights Commission can be alerted. We have our offices throughout the 36 states of the Federation. And I tell you, we have been very much alive to handling various complaints sent to us by members of the public. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.